Hi everyone, this is Linda. Welcome to my channel and if this is your first time here, I welcome you. So today guys, I'm looking at some Five Below wash. Um, picked this up about three months ago and I'm just now getting to it and um, I'm going to talk a little bit about it. So I've been looking at the little wells and I'm going to show you all the colors that you get. But I, first I want to show you that you get these cutest little poppers that come with it. Um, once you take it off, you have to peel back the little cellophane and the, like the foil that comes with. But it has these little tops that you snap on and it'll help keep your gouache from drying out. So I have done that already. I've took off all of the um, cellos and the, like the foil that was on there so you guys um, can see all the colors. So I'm going to just take off these caps and show you what you get. And they stick up out of the um, pan just enough so you can get your um, fingers in there. I've been using this all because sometimes my fingers touch the other paint and I get a little messy so but this little all kind of helps lift it up a little bit and then I can just kind of get a hold of it and pull it out. Alright so you get 12 colors in all and I did a little paint swatch over here to show you guys um, what they look like and how opaque they are. So from here down, except for this part of the pink, and it's a little wet, I did um, one layer swatch. Of all of those, the purple is the most opaque. Um, and if you don't know what opaque means, it means that it's not see-through. Um, it's uh, these are transparent to me so I'm going to do a second coat on camera here with you guys only halfway over and then we can compare and here's the second run of the other colors and the blue was the most opaque and the black okay so let's uh, do that on camera here and we're going to go and do the next. I did give these a little stir, um, but I don't think you really would have to. So I'm just going to do half. And then once they dry, we'll see how well they do with the um, opaqueness on these. Okay, so this set was just five dollars and to me the little set is the same setup as the Hemi wash that you can find on Amazon and um, most of these colors I think are in the big set so here's the purple so it's definitely opaque all right, and then we'll go to the green. Okay. Trying to clean out my brush here. To the yellow. I don't know if you guys can see. Maybe I'm going to hold it up here. We all know yellow is always transparent. It is, to me, one. Of, it is the most transparent color. Okay, now red. And then down to that really pretty, it looks like a cerulean blue. Yes, it's definitely opaque. Okay, and black. I'm 
we got orange left. This would be a cute little set if you wanted to take it outside um, and do some gouache painting outside. You didn't want to take the great big set out. And then the last one is this like burnt red or more of a mauve. All right. Okay, so looking at this, after a second coat, it is covering a lot better. Um, still the red and the yellow, this tan like flesh color, I'm still seeing the black. And somewhat down with this red one, I thought that would cover just a little bit better. But, you know, I guess the more you put on there, the more it's going to cover. Let's try it with this red one. Yeah, I don't know. It may not cover. You know, you really have to pack it on there. So, um, what do you think? Do you guys like the Hemi? Do you paint with Hemi? I mean, not Hemi, goodness. Do you paint with wash? Um, I have the, um, I have this set of the Hemi gouache, the small set. I call it the small set. And then I also have, I can pull it out here. I also have this great big one, the biggest one that came out. Um, I do like painting with gouache. Never painted with gouache until this year. And all the time I was in school, um, when I went to college, never painted with it. Um, if I'd have known about it, because I painted with acrylic and I focused on acrylic painting the whole time I was there. I didn't paint in watercolor either. I had friends that did, but um, I've heard I've heard like the name, but I didn't know exactly what it was because I didn't focus on it. I I was more into acrylic painting and getting better at that and learning all I could about that kind of paint. So now I'm branching out and trying different kinds of paint, seeing what's out there, seeing if I like it, see if I don't like it. Um, but I do like painting with gouache. It's totally different, um, but yet it's similar to me. Um, but there's so many colors and for this little set here, this is not a bad set um, at all. Um, I'm going to do a painting and I will put the painting at the end of the video. Um, I'll pop it in there um, or I'll just come back on and, and just show you guys what I painted with these colors. But um, let me know down below what you think of the, um, the Five Below gouache. I don't see a whole lot of difference from it from the Hemi gouache that, that you can get off Amazon. Um, but hey, it's, it's five, $5, you can take it with you. Very compact and I love these little caps that come with it because you don't get these with the other. You know, once you peel them off, you seal that up and then that's it. But I think these will help keep it just a little bit from drying out. But other than that, I, I'm really happy with it. So um, I'm gonna get off of here and then I will pop back on as soon as I get the painting done. Okay, so I finished the painting of a little bird to show you guys what the gouache paint from Five Below can do. I painted a indigo bunting bird. <laughs> um, I had a reference photo here from um, Birds in Bloom. I love this book. Um, if you guys ever get a chance to see this book, it's really got a lot of cute reference photos in it. Um, but I... I get this book. My husband actually gets this book, so oh, that's beautiful. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys what the paint could do. Um, it's not my best work because um, I kind of rushed through it, I guess. Um, but anyway, it uh, it laid down fairly nice, and this is on 
um, the paper from Five Below. It is also from Five Below. It's the 300 GSM. So, uh, anyway, guys, um, thank you for watching. And until next time, I will see you soon. And uh, maybe you guys go check out your Five Below and check out your little wash that they got there. I'll put the lid on it so you guys can see. It just snaps on like that and that's what it looks like so um if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and share my video i so so appreciate it so um until next time i'll see you guys then bye bye guys